This is a brief introduction to transparency options for Calgary City Council. Improved transparency in City Council was one of candidate Nahid Nenshi's better ideas. Better idea number eight, Calgary City Council will be more transparent, more efficient, and easier for citizens to engage. There are no significant technical challenges to accomplishing this quickly and cheaply. Council doesn't take great minutes. We've got to fix these things. We've got to use minutes that reflect what was said with video links to the webcasts that we already do and ways to help citizens track issues by topic. One very simple change is to improve the city council webcasts. Right now, all city council meetings are broadcast on the web, but only live. You can't go back and watch them later to see what your representatives have to say. So a very simple change is just archive them. If I'm at work and I can't be there, but I want to know what my alderman said on an important issue, I can go back and look. And it's so cheap. I mean, heck, we could even put it up on YouTube for free. The accompanying video illustrates complete coverage of the November 8th City Council meeting. While it took a fair bit of effort on my part, mostly because somebody doesn't like when I spend too much time editing video on the computer, Ooh. for a Calgary civil servant to accomplish the same, it should be relatively easy. Mostly because City Council is already being covered to Shaw Television and for a Windows Media live stream. There's at least four cameras scattered around City Council. All of the media's cameras were all in one corner. So the City of Calgary doesn't have to capture any more footage. They're already capturing it fine. They just need to make it accessible as an archive for citizens. One of the surprising interactions I had with city employees was, I said, hey, you guys should get a YouTube partner account, and that way you can upload longer videos to YouTube. A YouTube partner account is free. You're not restricted to only three thumbnails pulled pseudo-randomly from the video. You can upload any thumbnail you want. The other thing it lets you do is run advertising, which hopefully City of Calgary does not want to do over city council sessions. And the main feature as far as city council is concerned, I've successfully uploaded an eight-hour video, and I expect you could probably upload a 12-hour video too. One of the reasons a YouTube partner account would be great for hosting city council sessions, machine transcription and machine translation of the uploaded video. So the machine transcription is when it parses the audio, tries to create English text from that. Now it's not very accurate, but it is infrastructure that we could populate with the closed captioning text created for the sake of two big black boards in the city council chamber. Watching the closed captions, I could see they were far more accurate than YouTube's machine transcription. The City of Calgary needs to take that closed captioning data, upload it to YouTube, it'll even machine translate into non-English languages. Although it doesn't do a great job of that, but still a great service to at least offer to non-English speaking Calgarians. If City of Calgary is concerned that these longer wonkish videos would pollute the YouTube channel used by the City of Calgary, which normally features stuff like, here's how you recycle. Well, city council session videos can be uploaded as unlisted videos so that no one looking at the City of Calgary's YouTube channel will see them. The only way these obfuscated videos could be found is if it was embedded on a City of Calgary webpage dedicated to video archives. So it's not like people are gonna see leaf raking video, recycling video, five hour city council session video. We also have to make it easier for citizens to engage with City Council. If you've ever tried to go to City Council to speak at a public hearing, you have to sit there all day, you never know when your item will come up, it might be the next day. It really advantages people who are actually paid to be there instead of everyday citizens. So I set up an example audio feed for the November 8th City Council session. Calgarians tapped into the audio feed using a variety of devices, including smartphones. This would allow citizens to monitor the progress of City Council, so if they need to be there when a particular item is being addressed, they could show up at the right time. It is just incredibly easy to set this up. Here's hoping that the City of Calgary can move quickly on this. I know I'd much rather have an imperfect video archive and an imperfect audio stream made available to me than wait months for a perfect solution to be presented. Thanks for watching.